How's it going everybody? It's Prod here and today I'm bringing you guys a special Dark Souls 3 video. Uh, in this video I'm going to be showcasing off some of the weapons from the new footage that just dropped yesterday. Uh, because, you know, most of it is in huge chunks, so I took out the parts where uh, some weapons come out and showing their movesets. But before I get into it, I just want to say huge thanks to Oroboro. He let me use his gameplay. Uh, if you guys want to go watch it on his channel, if you haven't already, he basically has 50 minutes, 45 minutes worth of this uncut footage that you guys are going to see here today. So anyways, go watch that. It's in the description. Starting off here in order that they were shown in the video, we have the Scimitar. And this thing's moveset is incredible, man. It apparently has Dark Souls 1's Falchion moveset. And that right bumper is going to be such a goddamn killer, especially in PvP. It's going to be pretty goddamn amazing. Uh, we get a little showcase of the weapon arts. And then a very brief showcase of uh, the Halberd's weapon arts. And he didn't actually show the moveset for the Halberd, but he did confirm that the Halberd's moveset is basically the same as it was in Dark Souls 1, which makes me extremely happy because that was one of my favorite weapons weapons in Dark Souls 1 and it was mainly because of that right bumper poke move that was so goddamn great it did so much damage in PvE and it was so quick too which I absolutely love so that makes me really happy uh, we got a little fight here going on with a mimic and he does indeed drop a weapon he drops the deep battle axe that's it right there the deep battle axe and uh Apparently, the Battle Axe's movesets have changed. Uh, we, sh we get a little showcase of the weapon arts, which I'm pretty sure is called War Cry. And it goes to show that most likely a few of the weapon's battle moves, or I'm sorry, uh, actual movesets have changed. You know, we'll just have to wait to get our hands on the full game. But now we have one of my all-time favorite weapons, man, the Claymore. And apparently, it's the same moveset as well from Dark Souls 1, which I'm happy about because I didn't really use this weapon in Dark Souls 2. I didn't really like it in Dark Souls 2. I fucking love this thing in Dark Souls 1, so I'm very happy to hear that. And you notice a trend, right? Basically, all the Dark Souls 1 movesets for these old weapons are coming back, which I'm really happy about because most of these weapons' movesets were best in Dark Souls 1. Like, the Claymore and the Halberd, uh, I absolutely love them in Dark Souls 1. Didn't really like them in Dark Souls 2, so that makes me really happy, and I'm sure a lot of you guys as well. We also get a little showcase of the club here. I love this weapon, man. It's so tiny, but it looks like it's devastating, man. And it also has similar movesets to Dark Souls 1 once again. And, uh, you know, like I said, I cannot wait to use this weapon. It looks fucking deadly. Up next, we have the whip, which I've never been a huge fan of the whip. I didn't really use it much, but in this game, the moveset just looks fantastic, man. I love the way the moveset looks, especially that weapon art, that flailing around. It looks so good in this game. So I'm definitely going to be using this weapon once this game comes out. Up next, we have what was my favorite weapon in all of Dark Souls 1, the Great Scythe. And this weapon looks amazing in this game so far, man. Um, in Dark Souls 1, I absolutely loved it. Like I said, it was my favorite weapon. Dark Souls 2, I couldn't get into it that much. I don't know why, just really couldn't. But in this game, the moveset looks pretty goddamn fantastic. And I cannot wait to use this. It's probably the weapon I'm most looking forward to trying out in Dark Souls 3 so far. Next up, we have our first fist weapon, the Cestus. And now this weapon is pretty unique because it's similar to the Legion Scimitars, uh, where once you're one-handing it, it's just a regular one-hand weapon. But once you two-hand it, it becomes two weapons. Uh, same goes for this one. It becomes two pairs of Cestus. And it looks so great, too. And as well, when you buff one, you buff the other. But this is my favorite part right here because it uses the battle arts for this weapon. The weapon arts, I'm sorry. And then he still gets crushed by this guy who was making soup right into the dirt, which I fucking, I thought it was really funny. Last up on this list, sadly, we have a really goddamn awesome weapon. I had to save one of the best for last because this weapon is amazing looking. The Irithyll Straight Sword. I'm Hopefully I said that right. Probably not, though. But this weapon looks absolutely amazing. It has to be one of the best looking weapons I've ever seen in Souls game. I mean, look at it. It looks incredible. It looks glorious, man. It just has a part of particle effects all over the weapon. Just... It looks like it's just frostbite. It looks frozen. It looks amazing. And it does also cause frostbite. So it's a cool added effect to the weapon. But that is about it for this video. There was a couple of weapons that I sadly was not able to get in this video. But they are rounds. Uh, like the Uji Katana is in the game as well. Uh, has similar movesets to Dark Souls 1, I'm pretty sure. Uh, I cannot remember the, for the life of me which video I saw it in. But once again, huge thanks to Ouroboros for letting me use this gameplay. And I'm definitely going to be bringing out more Dark Souls 
Souls 3 footage uh, here coming up in the next few days. So I hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll talk to you guys next time. Peace, everybody.